hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are gonna discuss about dbpedia and how to connect it with python to extract data so briefly let me tell you what dbpedia is it's a structured form of the wikipedia data so wikipedia has vast amount of data in dbpedia they have structured the data so let's see how it looks like so we have the page of einstein and you can see it has the label a brief abstract about him and then the death place death date so all this data is also available on wikipedia but here we have it in a more structured way how do we connect it to python there are many libraries for it i'm going to use the rdf lib you can read the documentation if you want to have some deep knowledge about it but for now we will give you a basic overview and so to start let's program so first we import the library in colab and here we go and then i will import the library itself and now i create a graph for to abstract whatever we have in ddbpedia for einstein to be stored in this graph now we get the result from g dot parsing the graph and here i pass the url of albert einstein here you go and yeah so if we run it the we will get the graph so first i want to show you how much statements we have got for this graph so like say graph statements and we print the length of this result So we have 910 statements about Einstein from this DBpedia. Now I am gonna show you how the graph looks like when we change it from the turtle format to to our UTF-8, and we are converting it from here to UTF-8. And when I now you can see the graph which we have everything so the abstract is in different languages dbpedia supports many languages now we are gonna extract some specific details about einstein so let's start so first let me print, show you how this together looks like for s subject predicate object in graph we go and print these together subject predicate and object and once we have all of these you can see so the everything is a resource so if you click here like the link or maybe syntax the, the page will open and you can see what it includes what are the different properties and if you click this einstein you will get everything is in the uri format and it's unique you can say so this is the abstract we are trying to take out now moving on these are the 910 statements that we saw earlier now from taking out special details we need these urls the the urls in front of these we need to have these like perl uh, w3 or js syntax type so if you see the syntax time it says it's a person to extract this you have to have that this then the namespace and then import rdf for the rdf schema then rdfs for the other rdf schema type and then you have the fof for here the type as being person and if you do this and then you then you extract the person in graph subjects you know subject predicate and object we have the three parts so i am passing the subject and then we are extracting the subjects given 
the predicate is rdf type and fof is the person and if you print the person now now you can see this gives you only one specific result albert einstein now if i go more into this and i try to like just select his name in some other language i have to type i have to select the objects and then given subject is person that we selected albert einstein and then we have to pass the label and once you have the label you can print the entity and you will have his name so now you can see the name is in all different languages if you want to select a specific language you have to do entity dot language equal to english and then you can get the result in english but if you want to have the result in some other languages you can just type it to maybe russian and you got the name in russian similarly but if you want to have like the own urls because the set is like pretty small if you want to add your own urls then you have to use maybe some variable db and then rdf lib dot namespace you add your and then you have to so i am gonna use this much because i want to get and use this maybe comment or the rd schema then i use the same code as here just i want to use the db here db and the f abstract I want to use the abstract which was shown here like this abstract and I can use just abstract here and the language is Russian now so the abstract should come in Russian but if it doesn't exist we will convert it to English and then see what it does so it is in Russian now and if I change it to in English you will get this in English all the abstract about Albert Einstein so this is more structured than Wikipedia if you like the video do subscribe and like the video hope see you in the next video